Hi there. This is one way to set the X and Z zeros on a Hercus PC200 CNC lathe. That's the pendant there in the foreground. Those two buttons when pressed together home the machine. The rest of the buttons on the machine uh, make it move into rapid feed or jog mode. Uh, other buttons are for increase and decrease the spindle and the top four buttons are the actual movement of the axis buttons. That's the rapid button. It's bringing the tool towards the stock. The material in this case, the actual face of the material is positioned at Z0. So you just have to bring the tool up to that and read the figures off the screen. It's on the monitor of the PC that runs the lathe. And you do that and that will give you the figure that you need to put into the program for the Z origin. Now I'm moving it to find the X origin. When you do that you take it up to the diameter of the material but you have to remember to add the diameter of the material to the figure that you get so that when you put it into the program it's correct. Because what you're looking for is the centre line of the lathe from home. Okay, we'll have a look now at the actual software. Have a look at the monitor. This is Windows 98 with a DOS program running within Windows 98. This is the manual page where we get to use the uh, various buttons. Those figures there, that's the X and Z figures that we're looking for. Now the machine's being homed and that button there homes the turret. Moves it to tool number one which is actually how it homes. Right, now we've moved to rapid and we're bringing the tool up to the material. When it gets to 186.8, I think it is, that's when the, the face of that stop is actually touching the material. So that's it there. You make a note of that so that you can enter it into the program. And now I'm moving things around to actually take the tool out and around to touch the diameter of the material. And I think that's about it. So you write that figure down and remember to add to that figure the diameter of the material. This is having a look at it from above the tool. I'm calling it a tool but it's actually just used as a stop. So it doesn't have to be that accurate. If you actually want to be very accurate with a cutting tool you can do it by taking cuts and making the appropriate additions or subtractions for the various bits that you've uh, cut off. That's getting it for the X. So you write that down, add the diameter, and then it goes into a line in the program so the machine knows where everything is relative to home position. All right, thank you for watching.